Very few people would have expected the NMSU Aggies would be bowling this year, yet here we are. ABC 7's Rachel Phillips was at the airport as the Aggies embarked on a historic moment for the program. Hey there, as you can see, the Aggies are getting set to take flight to Detroit ahead of the Quick Lane Bowl. And look, as they take a trip, I figured it was only fair that we take a trip down memory lane and see how the Aggies got into just their fifth bowl game in program history. That was the moment the Aggies found out their NCAA waiver was approved and they would in fact be bowling this year after going 5-6 and six on the season up until that point. A record nobody really saw coming considering they started 0-4. It's unbelievable what these kids have done and uh, I'll never forget it you know, the rest of my life. And I've taken over some teams that have been tough but they weren't you know, the worst team in college football according to ESPN. And for them to overcome all the negativity and did what they did, my hat's off to them. They've come as far as any team that I've coached. It's no secret a complete system override starts from the top. And college football's Mr. Fix-It Man in Jerry Kill got this NMSU Aggie team to become a family and believe it was possible. Let's go. We fought harder. You know, we had more faith, more hope. So, you know, it was just that one change in the tide you know that's all we needed that one break and then we got it and then just picked up speed that coming from trevor brohar the only current player who was a member of the 2017 aggie team that won a bowl game the hope though is that soon brohar won't be the only aggie this century to go to two bowl games you know these things take a while we're not there yet you know we're not near where we need to be but this year you know, we we're looking forward to a bowl game, but I think there's uh, bigger things ahead for this team. That's right. The Aggies heading to Detroit for the Quick Lane Bowl, and they're not the only run. ABC 7's Will Heron will also be taking flight to the Motor City. He leaves on Christmas Day and will bring you complete coverage starting on December 26 on Good Morning El Paso. For now, reporting from the airport, Rachel Phillips, ABC 7. And as Rachel mentioned, ABC 7's Will Heron will be heading to Detroit and will continue that Quick Lane Bowl coverage as the Aggies take on Bowling Green. And you can watch for Will's reports on ABC7 Newscast on Monday as the Aggies take on Bowling Green in the Quick Lane Bowl, coverage sponsored by Zant Law Firm.